Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on entropion. For introduction, entropion is a turning inwards of the lid margin, such that normal eyelashes abrade the eyeball. Entropion may affect the upper or lower eyelid. In the UK, upper lid entropion is rare, but worldwide it is more common, due to the contractile scarring process which occurs in trachoma. For its causes, it can be due to involutional changes, due to aging process. Lower eyelid position is the result of a balance between several forces, particularly the inwardly directed orbicularis oculi muscle, and the outwardly pulling lower lid retractors. This balance is upset in involutional entropion, hence causing entropion. Another cause is due to conjunctival scarring. Any conjunctival scarring process may result in entropion. Chief among these are alkali burns, trachoma, and Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Pull the eyelid away from the eyeball to look for adhesions across the conjunctival fornix. As shown in this picture, spasm of orbicularis oculi muscle can also cause entropion. It may be primary, often with hemifacial spasm, or secondary, usually due to persistent ocular irritation. For the ocular consequences and complications due to entropion, the inwardly turning lid causes the eyelashes to rub against the eyeball, resulting in foreign body type sensation and reflex watering. The abrasive action of the eyelashes may cause a corneal abrasion, with risk of bacterial corneal infection. Thus, corneal ulceration requires urgent ophthalmological referral. For its management, most cases are managed with a simple surgical procedure, although conjunctival scarring is very hard to overcome. Blepharospasm can be treated with repeated injections of botulinum toxin. That's all for this video. Thank you.